pain avoidance, the sixth component of food addiction. What a perfect day. Um, for those of you, you're blessed. Many people will listen, prayerfully millions will listen to this, uh, but, but it may be far in the future. But for those able to listen to this live, this is definitely relevant as we are, it is April the 5th. We're on the fifth day of our month-long fruit fasting journey. It's April 5th, 2024, the original date um, of this video. And for those who are on the fruit fast, wouldn't it be amazing to people listening to this 100 years from now? But for those able to listen to this live, you're blessed. And what an excellent time as we are in five days of the fruit fast and many have fallen off. Some of us have had many challenges in just five days. And a part of that is because of pain avoidance. Again, only those who are studying these videos are serious about the fruit fast. If you're not studying, if we if we shouldn't have more people, as you all know, on day one, just look at the numbers. Almost 200 likes on the first day and it's dropped ever since. And on these videos, these are the most important videos. But then if I drop another video of me going back and forth with somebody, then of course, uh, drama is flocked to. But this is the crux of why we are fat and sick. That's why I named April once and for all soar in 24 30 day fruit fast once and for all can we suffer can we suffer the pain <laughs> to get to the great to get to greatness in our health and wellness journey and then stay there and we talked about how to stay there in part 4 but we'll continue to talk about that because we're not even we're not even this will mark the halfway point this is component number six and if for some reason you're listening to this because these algorithms are strange where some of you video hop of course the great ones you will have started from part one and work your way up and i will be turning this series into a book as soon as possible because this is critical pain pain that's the reason, one of the main reasons why we fall off, one of the main reasons of food addiction is pain. We just can't take it. Just can't bear through the, the withdrawal because you have to go through withdrawal. Somebody was asking me, they said, Minister, I've been on the fruit fast for three days and I'm kind of feeling lethargic and I'm tired. Y'all, that's normal. That is when you when you get off all of that salt all of that sugar and they put salt and sugar in everything if you're unless you are home making everything from scratch and all your vegetables and and batunda of fruits have come from a garden you rest assured you are over consuming salt over consuming sugar it's in everything so when you immediately drop all of that and go on fruits yes Yes, there there will be a period of intense withdrawal. As I talked about, uh, that is the second component and third component of food addiction. Cravings in the extinction burst and why that phenomenon. But yes, you will. Pain. Yes, weeping endures for a night. Pain endures for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Pain is only temporary. Winners know how to deal with the pain. Losers don't. I'm tired of losing. I've been losing more than I've been winning the last several years as the stresses of what I do as the minister of wellness increases. And thank you so much for those of you all who gave to help me. And unfortunately, I was scammed by a crooked pastor here in Kenya. I'm trying to get my missionary permit, missionary permit. And I thought, spoke at this man's church and thought that I could trust him. And he led me down the path of being scammed $600. And thank you all for coming through. And special thanks to all of you all for coming through and pulling through to help me and to help the ministry to get out of that ditch. 
We have three orphanages with over 100 children to support that we're supposed to be sending over one thousand dollars for still trying to make sure that we can send the, the two girls not only to school for the rest of the year, which we're able to get them started. Thanks to Brother Rollo Mitchell, but we're still trying to get them out of that collapsible mud house. So the last thing the ministry needed was to be defrauded. So thank you all for your love and support. Thank you for giving, as you know, that I'm on the front lines, putting my life on the line every day for the upliftment of our people. Pain. Winners don't. Winners deal with pain. Losers don't. Losers quit when the going gets tough. I'm tired of quitting. Aren't you tired of quitting? And you say, well, Minister of Wellness, you haven't quit. No, we quit. We have quit. That's why we're that's why we have to do this fast. That's why we need to fruit fast. That's why we need to go the rest of this month. And that's why we need to fruit fast, because we have there are times in our healing journey when we've quit. We've get we've thrown in the towel. We've given in to the devil. Let's not be self-righteous. So, no, I'm not going to sit here because I'm the minister. Well, no, I didn't pay. I didn't gain the weight for nothing. I'm not trying to lose for nothing. And I'm not people can hate all they want. I'm not going to take down my videos when I get back down to being my top lean shape. And I stay there for years and years to come. I want people to say, hey, minister, well, I watched one of your videos from 15 years ago, man, you look way heavier. What happened now? You, you know, lean and thin. And I looked at one of your older videos. What happened? It looked like it was around 2023, 2020. What happened during that time when you were you seem bigger, much bigger? And then I'll give them my testimony because that's what life is about. Winners understand that the pain you're going through, the trials that you're going through right now. They've come to give you a testimony. And if you would not have a losing mentality and understand that the pain you're dealing with right now is so that you can have a testimony to share with others. That's what life is about. It's about overcoming obstacles. Stop believing this nonsense that fake European Christianity has taught us. When it comes to uh, why God created evil and why is there evil in the world and all of these things, here's the simple answer. To develop character. To develop character. How could you learn how to overcome obstacles if God did not create the obstacles? How could you learn to choose between good and, and righteousness if there's no contrasting evil or bad that you have to choose against? Life is about the development of character. And a part of that is pain. Does it seem like from our perspective, it can become too extreme? That is too much like, Lord, this is too much. Absolutely. Absolutely. Like, Lord, they're giving little babies cancer. They're ripping babies out of the room and chopping their body parts. They're having sex with children. But then, of course, Job, he when when he thought his trials got too extreme and he did, he tried to question. He, he did. He did. He had courage. He said, now, OK, God, listen, you, you I, I need some answers. OK, Lord. I need some answers. This pain is too much. I understand you trying to develop my character. I have to learn how to choose between good and evil. I have to overcome obstacles. I have to go through this. But come on, Lord. No, you you going to have to answer me. And then guess what? God, in that instance, for an example for us all, for an example for us all, the Lord God, Yahuwah the Elohim, Ahia, Ashar Ahia, the great I am. He went on ahead and he came out of the whirlwind and he said, you know what, Job? Just so that, because I know that many people have that same mentality when, when, when they just, when the grind is getting too hard. So let me go ahead and answer you. So the Lord came out and he said, brace yourself like a brace yourself, <laughs> brace yourself. You, 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 you really think 
You you think you have the audacity? Woo! And for two, two, three chapters in the book of Job, chapter 38, 39, 40, 41. And boy, the Lord put he he said, okay. He said, You want to know why I'm sending you through? Why? Why I why I let Satan gave him permission to completely dis- destroy your life temporarily. You want to know why? Why do I do what I do? Why do you have to go through this process? Okay. Before I answer your question, sir, before I allow you to question why I, God Almighty, do what I do. You tell me how I set the foundations of the earth. Hmm? You, you you tell me how can I uh, give rain? How can you give rain? Who can give rain to the desert where no one lives or shut the rain out, but then give the lizard the ability to live in a barren place? Who can feed the, the children of the eagle that's high up on the cliff top of the mountain? How can the eagle fly right into the midst of a storm? How many clouds are there in the sky? Who can count the number of stars? Can you do that? Who who closed up the sea when I created the sea? When I created the earth and I gave the sea a boundary, I said, you strong waves, you will not go this far. Can you do that? Can you hold lightning in your fists and strike it as it please? Who gives the thunder its power? Who gave the elephant its strength? Who provides intuition? Who even who get, even has given you the intelligence to even ask me these questions? Who gives you intelligence? Who is the creator of love? Who's the father of ice? Who's the mother of the snow? Where do I keep the snow? Where is the home of the east wind? Can you take the wind and wrap it around you like a cloak? Who give the hippopotamus his girth? Who can stop the arm that is raised in violence? Who's the beginning and the end? Who is not constrained by time? Who is the Alpha and Omega? Who can walk on water? Who can turn water into wine? Who can go in the midst of a storm and say, peace be still? And he kept going on like that for three chapters. And and then Job, Job said, I, I, Job said, Lord, I, I have nothing to say. I shut my mouth. How dare I? How dare I even think to question you? Because I can't do any of those things. And the Lord, once Job's trial ended, once the pain ended, once the necessary pain to develop his character ended, what did the Lord do? He does what he always does. When we go through the storm, the weeping endures for a night, the pain endures for a night. But the joy will come in the morning when you just trust in the Lord that whatever you're going through is temporary to make you stronger. Job lived 140 years in perfect health. That's that he beat Moses by 20 years. Remember, we all just trying to get to Moses. Heck, in America, we just trying to get to 90, 90 <laughs> good health. Moses made 120. Joel made 140. And gave him a bunch of more children, tripled his wealth. The pain. The pain endured. Job endured the pain. We have to endure the pain, family. And we have to apply that to every part of our lives. But we can't even apply it when it comes to the satanic American diet, because when you get your brain hooked on this junk food, it is hard. It becomes hard. It's painful.
the pain of dealing with boredom. Remember, I talk about that. That's a big part because when you eat healthy, you're not lethargic. You don't need as much sleep. But then that creates another problem because now you have more time on your hand. What do you do with that time? What do you do with all of that extra time when you're used to eating and watching stupid movies and dumb entertainment? See, now you have to master that. So most people want to eat themselves today. Like, man, I just want to work and I want to eat and drink myself into a slumber. That's what they do in all their free time. They're afraid to be alive. Are you afraid to be alive? People are afraid to fight cravings. You're going to have headaches. You're going to have the shakes. You might even develop a fever when you're getting off the satanic American diet. Pain. But a winner understands that pain is only temporary. It may last for a minute. It may last for a second. It may last for a day. It may last for years, but all pain will pass. Yes, sir. But if we quit, however, then we'll be quitters forever. And then the pain will never go away. See, that's the thing. If you quit, if you give up on the fruit fast, if you give up, On eating your G-bombs. If you give up and go back. Then the pain of having high blood pressure will never go away. The pain of having heart disease will never go away. The pain of having cancer will never go away. The pain of headaches. The pain of autoimmune disease. The pain of whatever disease you're going through. Whatever you're going through right now. If you quit eating to live. If you give up. And go back to the satanic American diet. If you quit, then you'll always have that pain. You'll never get healed because there is no healing outside of the Lord's way. It's impossible. Don't matter how much you pray. Don't matter how spiritual you are. Don't matter how many churches you go to. Don't matter how many commandments you keep, how many Passovers you keep. Doesn't matter. This is it. Eat to live or suffer and die. If you quit the process, the pain will never go away. And then you'll know in your mind, you'll you'll always be dissatisfied. You'll always have anxiety, depression, suicidal tendencies and mental illness, because then you'll know that you're a loser. You're a loser because you quit when it got rough. You quit. No, doggone well, you don't want to be fat. You know you need to lose weight, but you quit. You know you need to get off those drugs, but you quit like a loser. Then it really depresses you as a man because now you know that real men ain't supposed to quit. We're supposed to be the examples of strength for our women. But instead, we got a bunch of fat and feminized food addicts and they're leading their women to destruction. Having them thinking that being as big as NFL football players is something attractive. Pain is temporary. If you do what is easy, your life will be hard. But if you do what is hard, your life will be, oh, God, why did you have to make it that way? Why, God? Well, again, if you want your answer, then go read Job 38, 39, 41. Because I can create the hurricane. Because I can open up the earth and shut it as I please. Because I know all the number of hairs on your head. Because I own the cattle on a thousand hills. Because I am the author of wisdom. I am the one who gives the thoughts to the mind. I am the one. I mean, just the thought. That's the fact that we can see the organs, the liver. The toes, how I, how the, I, I fearfully and wonderfully made you. If you do what is easy, I'm just going to quit. I'm just going to do moderation. I'm going to keep my meat. I'm going to eat my meat. You're not going to tell me to give up my fried chicken. I love fried chicken. I'm going to do what is easy. I'm going to eat what I want to eat. I'm going to do moderation. If you do what is easy, your life will be hard. 
If you take a little bitty hammer and you hammer it against a rock, eventually it will crack. If you take a little if a little bitty axe and you chop, 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 chop moderation, just moderately chop that tree. Eventually it will fall. So you're going to moderate yourself right in the heart disease, cancer, diabetes, stroke, Alzheimer's disease or dementia. That's what you're going to moderate yourself into. Jesus told one of the churches, I'm going to spit you out of your mouth because you're lukewarm. I would rather you be all the way in, or all the way out. If you're going to be a loser, then go ahead and be a loser. But don't delude yourself. Don't lie to yourself. Talking about you eating healthy. Stop lying to yourself. If you're going to be a loser, then go all the way. Go ahead. Eat your, go listen to these stupid pastors, these stupid pastors. Go listen to them. Oh, the minister of wellness teaching a cult. You can eat what you want. That doesn't matter. Bless your food in Jesus name. Go ahead. Do like my dad did. Do like he did. Pastor Eddie Jordan Jr. The most religious man that I've ever known. I ain't never seen my father look at no other woman except my mother. So go ahead. Do like him. He worked hard every day. Woke up, read the Bible, preached hard. Them hardcore hellfire brimstone preachers. Where do you think I get my personality from? I didn't just get it because I was in the Marines and a police officer. I was raised by a strong man. But that strong man was weak when it came to food. And he said, no, that's too much pain for me to give up pork chops and fried chicken and cake and ice cream and neck bone and black eyed pea. That's too much pain. I don't I don't I don't cheat on my wife. I take care of my children. I preach the word of God. Now you want me to, to eat fruits and vegetables? Oh, no, that's too much. No, I can't do that. I'm a blessed in Jesus name like my white slave masters in theology taught me because my father had a master's degree in theology. Minister of wellness, what degrees do you have? None. What school you been to? None. My father was ordained from a deacon to an, to a pastor. Who's ordained you, minister? God. See? If you're tuning in to the Minister of Wellness Ministries video. If I've helped you in your health and you're tuning in to live streams, uh, you see that I consistently ask for your support. And this is where your money is going. This is one of three of the orphanages that we support, one of the children's homes uh, that we support every single month. And we need more funds uh, because I know that this home is trying to build a school. So we need more funds and more support and if you're benefiting from me in any way, shape, form, or fashion, and you're uh, listening to this commercial and you see these beautiful children, if you don't have the heart to give, uh, then I'm asking you to unsubscribe and watch somebody else because I'm not a YouTuber. I am a real missionary. I'm a minister uh, doing groundwork for the Lord uh, here. And your dollar stretches a lot more here than it does in America. So do the right thing, brothers and sisters, and give to the ministry. You see all the ways that you can on the screen is absolutely no excuse. Uh, we waste money on junk food. We waste money on things that we don't need. So how dare you waste money uh, given to the devil, given to our enemies, and then you don't have the heart uh, to give to this healing ministry so we can help continue to feed and support these children so they can grow up and be successful in life. And raise your hand if you want to be a doctor. Who wants to be a doctor? Raise your hand. All right. Wow. Look at all those hands going up. So in order to do that, we have to eat to live. And that's why the Minister of Wellness Ministries, and this is just the start, the start with your support. And then we can support children's homes all over uh, the motherland. Okay. <laughs> God bless you so much. Where is the golf clubs?
And now what am I doing? I'm in Africa doing missionary work. What did my father want to do? What was one of his goals to come to Africa and do missionary work? But he loved food more than all of that. He couldn't suffer through the pain to fulfill his greatness. You can't fulfill your greatness being sick. Stop lying to yourself. You're running in and out of a hospital. Those drugs are having side effects on you. You can't even move like you want to move. You can't exercise like you want to. You don't have the strength to do what you really want to do. That's not greatness. That's not greatness. And even if you are moving fast and moving like a light, a speed of lightning is going to come to a crash and halt if you don't change and start eating to live. It's just inescapable. So, yes, if you do what is easy, your life will be hard. That's the that's the way that God created It is a law of the universe. It's a law of God. But if you do what is hard. What don't you want to do, but it's good for you, you know, you should do it, but it sucks. Sometimes it sucks. I don't want to eat the fruit today. I want a vegan burger. I want some fries. Or I want a flat out, you want a flat out cheeseburger. I don't know. Chicken, I don't know. Man, I just want some baked fish and some carrots. I don't know. We're faced with that every day. We're faced with the decision to whether we're going to choose to do what is hard, to embrace the hard, embrace the pain, so that then our lives can be easy. The joy of excellent health, the joy of youthful vigor, the joy of being able to help and mentor others. Or we have that choice to choose the easy path, to give in to the flesh, and then our life will be hard. Get something for your pain. If you've come this far in the fruit fast or you're watching this and you're starting on your journey, and pain is smacking you in the face. Get something for your pain. Don't you dare give up. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. You be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. You suffer through. You're doing the right thing. Don't you dare give up. You must complete this 30 day fast. You must complete your goals. Get something for your pain. You and suffered up to this point. You and made it through to this point. What you going to give up now? There's a reward on the other side of the pain. There's always a reward. That's why the story of Job is written in the Bible. I know it's hard to read. Read it anyway. Get a reward for your pain. Stop being a loser. That's what I'm saying. Once and for all. We keep on suffering and putting ourselves back. The pain is when we quit. Just keep on quitting and starting over. Gain 30, lose 20. Gain 50, lose 15. Stuck at the same little weight. Stuck at, you get off the drugs, then you shoot up and get back on the drug. Doggone it, once and for all, it's time to soar in 24 and thrive in 25. Fixed in 26, live in our heaven in 27, and then we're great in 2028. It's high time for the health revolution. It's time to get a reward for our pain. Tired of going through this. I'm tired of going back and forth with this. Talking about the same old goals over and over again. It's time out. It's high time. That's how I feel right now. That's how I feel right now. I'm sick of talking about this. Oh, man, I can't fit this suit. Fit the suit. Oh, man, I can't wear these clothes. We're doggone it. Do what it takes. Oh, I go but get off these drugs. Man, you've been saying that for three years. You've been talking about getting off them drugs for three years. That's what I'm saying. The hypnotism of religion. The hypnotism of religion. Folks going to church and they literally have been praying for the person in the nursing home for years. Mama, mama. Uh, mama, uh, mama hip. 
Let's pray for Mama Hip. Uh, she's at um, she's at St. Paul's Nursing Home at 5405 Martin Luther King. Let's pray for Mama Hip. It's like, man, Mama Hip been in the nursery. Well, why, why, why ain't Mama Hip getting better so she can get out of the nursing home and come back to church? I mean, and the list just get longer and longer. Just over and over. Like, what are we doing? What are we doing? It's time for healing. We're supposed to be living life more abundantly. There's not supposed to be a sick and shut in list. Long as a dictionary. Church is dying out because the members are dying. Then you look at the children, they fat. Have you gone in these high schools in America? I remember I preached at a high school in America in 2018. Jennings High School. One of the only time I have ever been allowed to come inside of a high school and deliver a message. One time. To one class. And they enjoyed it. And almost all them kids were fat. It's time to be winners and stop losing. And then once we win, it's time to stay winning. Pain will never go away. That's why we keep falling off. Yeah, I lost all the weight. I got off all the drugs. I reversed all disease. But then I fell off because you got tired of fighting the pain. The pain doesn't go away. The choice, the choice to make between what's easy and hard presents itself every day. That's what spontaneous recovery is about. The pain of having to choose to fight your flesh that never goes away. Put on the full armor of the Lord so that you may be able to avoid the darts of the enemy. It's too many trials and tribulations that we enter into the kingdom of heaven. It is only he that endures to the end who shall be saved. We must work out our salvation with fear and trembling. The pain never goes away. It's just that when you fight it, you get better at enduring it. You have to embrace the pain. You have to make pain your friend so you can get the reward on the other side. You have to wake up and say, I take you on pain. Come on, pain. Come on, life. Show me what you got. Because something greater in me is greater than you. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Bring it on pain. Bring on the cravings. Bring on the temptations. With God, nothing is impossible. Oh, I'm going to get the reward. I want a reward today. I want a reward. Come on, pain. Give me a hard choice to make because I want the reward. I embrace the pain. That's a winner. See, when you have that mindset, we'll lose the weight this month, we'll get off the drugs, we'll get healed, and we'll stay that way. We have everything in stock, brothers and sisters, except for the DHA EPA. It'll be back soon. But all orders are caught up. Our inventory is full. Listen, when you support the Minister of Wellness Ministries online store at the retail cost, it truly helps us out. Because we use the profits to fund critical ministry expenses, such as funding our missionary work, financially supporting our small team of workers, and paying the thousands of dollars of monthly bills related to running this healing ministry. Running sales are great on rare occasions, but overall, they hurt the financial health of the ministry. I know you all love them. But overall, it hurts the financial health of the ministry. So please consider this next time you're in need of supplementation. The Minister of Wellness labeled and approved organic Irish sea moss, organic vitamin C, organic superfood powder, herbal extracts, and much more of the highest quality and potent, a brand you can always trust but also you can have the peace and joy of knowing that every dime of profit is being used to support this one of a kind revolutionary healing ministry. If you need help placing an order, please call 
888-847-8026. That's 888-847-8026. Call or text that number, 888-847-8026. Or you can visit our vast online store at the minister of wellness.com knowledge is power brothers and sisters don't forget about your knowledge uh, i am the author of five books your minister of wellness five books lose 100 pounds in 100 days that's a book based on a real life life testimonial help the brother lose 100 pounds in 100 days his exact meal plan and exercise plan is in that book along with the 12 components of food addiction at the end biblical principles that eradicate obesity and all disease it covers the top killers and how eating healthy change in what we eat can help eradicate those diseases according to the word of god exposing the deadly slave theology of the black church concerning health and nutrition uh, Jesus will bless you, your junk food saying grace uh, under the new covenant. We don't need to worry about the dietary laws. These critical theological issues revolving food, nutrition, and our walk with Christ is covered in that book. Exposing the satanic religion of the you know what. Such an important yet controversial book. I can't even show the cover on the screen and then the latest book that i made right here for the motherland is the homosexual war that's being waged to remove africa from god's divine protection the minister of wellness.com under books the minister of wellness.com under books or call 888-847-8026 call or text 888-847-8026 888-847-8026 847-8026. The Minister of Wellness Complete Detox Package, brothers and sisters, I created this package specifically to help detox from the medical decision. You should realize I'm using, I'm being very careful in using cold language and all toxic overload that taxes our system, weakens our immune system. I put together, I, I had this before due to extreme censorship. I had to use wisdom and I had to bring it back in a different manner, but it is backed by popular demand. You get the, the very powerful immune support, detox, gut health, mental health, reduce inflammation, the iris sea moss, the dull seaweed, and then you see that spot there, my book. Again, I have to be smart and use wisdom. This is the book that I have exposing the medical decision, and it has the full detox plan for the medical decision. And this is all of them, all of these poisons that we've taken since our childhood, the overload of toxic exposure that is taxing our system. This is my complete detox package. The minister of wellness.com, the minister of wellness.com or call 888-847-8026, 888-847-8026. That's how you stay that way. But if you think the reason why we fall off because we think that all oh, we have fought and we have made it through. So we good. We good now. I passed the test. I lost all the weight. I made it through April. I'm feeling good. It's over now. No. No, it's not. Really, it should be if you do it as hard, your life will be easier. Remember, even Jesus Christ said, he said, our African Hebrew Messiah, he said, take my yoke upon me for my burden is easy. My yoke is light. See, so he, so there are burdens. He just said we can, it can become easier. When we put all of our care and trust in the Lord, when we embrace the pain that's going to present itself in life, and when we understand that whatever we're going through, if we really believe that everything works according 
that God is working everything according to his will. For the per and everything will work out for the good for those who love him, who he have purposed. When you really believe that and you cast all your cares upon him, it gets easier. But that doesn't mean that pain doesn't present itself, especially when we're talking about the satanic American diet. Remember, family, unfortunately, we're dealing with a demonic witchcraft we've never had to deal with before. This is something different. I'm sorry. We have to understand that. We're talking about food giving people orgasms. I don't mean to be crude, but we all adults watch listening to this. And if we not, then, you know, we have children watching all the got porn all over the place. So you, they still need to listen to this. We got food. Give people getting an orgasm over Twitzlers and fried chicken and gravy and mashed potatoes. Just see how people talk. Oh, I remember one lady told me, oh, oh I love eggs. Oh. I'm like. I'm like, ma'am, are, are you okay? You, you need some tissue? Yeah. Oh, oh, the gravy, all oh, the ribs. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Boy, this is something new. We ain't never dealt with no, we ain't never dealt with no force like this. We ain't never dealt with no madness like this when it comes to food. This is crazy. This is a different type of pain. So no, your brain will. That's what these components about are about. It's about making you understand that there would never be a point in your life where the temptation to fall off the wagon will, and you have to accept that. Like, man, I went through all of this and I'm still getting a craving. I've been strong for 100 days and I'm still getting a craving, minister. I thought you said it would go away. I ain't never said that. And the Bible ain't never promised you that. God ain't never promised you that. You have to endure to the end. Embrace the pain or you'll never make it. Your whole life will be about overcoming some type of obstacle. And greatness, a winner understands that life is about overcoming some type of obstacle. So that's why it's important how you start your day. That's why it's important how you start your day, because we have to start our day off preparing ourselves for the inevitable pain and obstacles that will come. How are you preparing your day? You can't even get up because you're so doped up on these satanic foods. You know, sat here and, and had all these doggone food orgasms. And so now your butt can't even wake up before the sun gets up and get on your knees and start praying. Your knees and joints are so jacked up. You can't even get on your knees and start your day off right. You struggling and struggling. Oh, shoot, I got to get down on Get up, get up early, turn that phone off, turn it off and get up and prepare for the battle that's coming that day. Prepare your mind to embrace the pain. Get down on your knees early in the morning, every single day. And you pray to God and speak to him. You have to prepare for war, for the battle that's coming. Got to get your mind right. Then you dive into his word. You pull out your journal and you review your goals. You write your goals. I am successful. I am healthy. I am powerful. I am an overcomer. I will embrace the pain. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. The Lord is my buckler, my strength, my shield. Ain't no satanic junk food going to overpower me. I love pleasing the Lord more than I love pleasuring my flesh with this junk food. Get thee behind me, Satan. You exercise. 
You pack up your cooler with your medicine foods of God and you go out and you face the pain and you embrace it. You start that day off right. Then with confidence, you can say, bring it on, Satan. Bring it on, flesh. Come on, food zombies. What you got for me? Here you got some cookies here. Oh, no. Nope. I'm good. I'm good. I got a reward coming to me for saying no to these cookies. There's a reward on the other side of fighting. Oh, okay. I'm not having the best day. That's okay. I started my day off right. There's a reward coming for this. And all that reward is great. And you do that over and over and over again. You do that over and over again. You embrace the pain over and over again and you'll look up. And you'll be a true spiritual giant. You will be living life more abundantly. And then that's when. As the years go by. And you don't feel no different than you felt in your youth. Oh, that's a great reward. When you wake up and you in your 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. And you can say like Jack LaLanne before he died, Jack LaLanne, I have I read his last book before he died. And he said, I can honestly say at 95 years old. I, I actually can say I feel the same as I did when I was 25. He said, I don't feel different. He says, it's like I look at myself and I know I'm 95. I know I might not live much longer, but I honestly feel the same. And he did his two hour workout, went to bed and didn't wake up at 96. Same like Moses. But of course, Moses made it to 120. But we're not living at, in that type of environment. We're living in the most polluted. Wicked, evil, anti nature We're we're under these white devils and these Mazungus. And, you know, the, the Moses, he was living in that time where. You know, you can drink more, uh, water from the ground and it was pure. That's a different era we're dealing with. I don't mean you tuck your tail in between your leg and give up. I'm just telling you, brothers and sisters. We have to embrace the pain because there's a reward on the side of pain. Whatever you're going through in life, even outside of food. Even outside of battling the satanic American diet, whatever pain you're going through, it is only temporary. And that pain exists to make you strong. I know it's hard. I'm not saying it's easy, but trust me. It has come to make you strong. The opportunities to embrace pain. It is the times of trial. It is the time of suffering. That those are the opportunities that produce greatness. In those moments of boredom, when your flesh wants to do what you know is not good for you, in those moments of having to choose, having to battle that pain of saying no to what your flesh wants so bad, that's how you produce greatness. That's how you produce greatness. It's time to be great, family. It's time to be great once again including myself as great as people say that I am at preaching. I know if I'm great at preaching at 235 pounds, 215 pounds, 205. If I'm great at preaching with all that I've been through over the last few years that have had me shoot my weight up like this from vegan junk food, how great can I be? If I once and for all soar and then stay there because I master embracing the pain of pressure and being used and abused and knowing you have a gift that everybody wants and getting exploited and scammed and I have to embrace the pain. And yes, as a leader, as a revolutionary, yes. 
That's a different type of pain that comes, but still have to embrace it because God built me for it. Just like he built you to withstand whatever you're going through. He will not put more on us than what we can bear. He will not put more on us than what we can bear. As you can see, so all, what, what is the house made of? It's made of mud. The house is made of clay, uh, mud, sand. Uh, we, 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 we put them together with uh, uh, small water. Then we construct a, uh, a house like this. But the, the only disadvantage that you have with this uh, kind of house, when it rain heavily, uh, the house cannot sustain the rain. Uh, neither the winds, because as you see, the rooftop uh, it is covered with uh, with some of the linings and some of uh, iron sheets that are second hand. Uh, so it's our prayer for your support, so that we can make a good house for them, a good shelter for them. Here we have uh, and tell them and how much would a good house cost, a good basic house cost. Yeah, uh, earlier on we had uh, we had uh, done a budget with. Uh, with uh, some of the foreman, and it costed uh, 250000 to construct uh, a, a, a semi yeah. a semi permanent house. And so, brothers and sisters, 250000 shillings, you know, that's only about one to 2000 US dollars, okay? Pendo means uh, love, and uh, Furaha means laughter. So there are two children here. They have not stepped their feet into any institution. We have their little brother here. They are, they are the second born. We have their elder brother over there, and uh, we have their mother with their uncle, and um, we they have their elder sister who have just finished the primary education. Uh, the same, they are, yeah, she has not gone to a secondary school, and uh, you can. That is the bathroom that they are using to shower every day when they wake up early in the morning. Yeah, and, the uh, you can see they are, they don't have a toilet. Not sure, well, mommy. So that, that is a, that is the same place that you see uh they're having bathroom and toilet at the same time but uh we uh, we pray to god uh, when we will construct their house, we'll construct a semi-permanent house mm -hmm. which will contain a toilet inside right. and a bathroom inside. And that's only two hundred fifty thousand. Yeah, that is another two hundred and fifty thousand. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, from apart from that, we will look for a budget of taking these uh, kids uh, to school. I appreciate your support. You know how to give the cash app, the Zelle, uh, the ministry. I'll put it right towards here. You all know that I do what I say I'm going to do with your money, right? You all know that about me by now. Stop watching my videos if you're leeching off of me. If you don't have a heart to give, stop watching my videos. Unsubscribe and watch somebody else. I don't care. I'd rather have 20 loyal supporters um, than to have a bunch of leeches, a bunch of selfish leeches. Uh, soaking up my gift that's helping you in your life and you don't have no care in the world for what our people are going through and stop comparing America to Africa. There's no comparison. And we know that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, he went through the ultimate pain so that we could all live life more abundantly. So how dare we not embrace the pain? How dare we not take up our stake and walk the walk, knowing that we're not even required to do even an inkling, even me as the leader, not even required to do an inkling of the pain that our Lord and Savior, our Messiah, Yahshua Hamashiach had to go through. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this time. I thank you for this message. And I pray, Heavenly Father, forgiveness for our sins that we've committed against you, the sin of not embracing the pain, the sin of being losers, 
of quitting. And now as we, Heavenly Father, as we confess this sin to you for giving up, the sin of quitting and giving up, I pray as your minister of wellness that everyone in the sound of my voice, you would now give us the determination, the excitement to embrace the pain, embrace the trials, because everything is working out according to your will, your purpose, and all things work together for the good of those who love the Lord. And we love you. We accept your perfect will. We accept the trials and tribulations because we know you are trying to develop our character. Forgive us for questioning you like Job. Forgive us for thinking in our puny nothing of minds that we have the audacity to question you. Help us to embrace the path you have put us on to cast all of our cares upon you, Heavenly Father. And to have the faith that there is a great reward on the side of the pain, the trials, and the tribulations. I pray for healing, prosperity, love, and joy, all of the rewards that come when we endure the weeping through the night. In the name of Yahshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, I humbly pray this prayer. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, and amen. The most important package that I have for this time is the immune support emergency stash. So this is when, not if, when the next deadly pandemic comes and, and when we're locked back down, you don't want somebody coughing in your household and they don't have anything for their immune system. This is the time to get it. It'll be impossible to have these in stock when the masses are panicking. It's already priced at 50% off. You don't need a promo code. Get your stash for your immune system. TheMinisterOfWellness.com TheMinisterOfWellness.com This is the second package that I have. The Black Health Disparities Package. If you have comorbidities, you're not going to stand a chance. This package covers obesity, blood pressure, immune, diabetes with the blood sugar, and all diseases fall under inflammation. You get all five. There's no promo code needed. It's already, it's already priced at half off, 50% off. No promo code needed. TheMinisterOfWellness.com. TheMinisterOfWellness.com. The big five brothers and sisters that are the most important, that is absolutely essential or you will be deficient. If you're deficient, you can't have an optimal immune system for the next pandemic. Vitamin D3 with K2, D3 with K2, B12, DHA, EPA, and zinc. Those are the big five. And we have those five available, organic, high quality, and potent. The Minister of Wellness.com on the store. The Minister of Wellness.com on the store. Or click the link in the description box and pin comment section.